I've been trying to encourage you to improvise using modes and this is part five uh, now. This is the um, Aeolian mode today. It's A to A on the piano, all the white notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, etc. Um, I'm in the fifth position. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. We'll go up a bit more. B, C, D, E. We can stop there. It's exactly the same as the natural minor scale. So that begs the question, the awkward, difficult question, what's the difference between a scale and a mode? There are university music professors who struggle to answer that. Um, I've come up with an incredibly reductive and mega, mega, mega simple um, answer. It's not sufficient. Um, music theory uh, graduates will probably have their heads in their hands but I've got to find a way of communicating it to people who don't immerse themselves in deep music theory. So here's my answer. The difference between a scale and a mode is the way you use it. In a scale you use the different notes according to their relationship with the chords which go with the scale with the harmony, the chord sequence. In the mode, you're interested in the relationship between the notes themselves, regardless of the chords, or less so than with the harmony with the chords. I mean, that sounds complicated, doesn't it? But actually, that's incredibly reductive. Um, the full answer would involve talking about tonal centres and tonics, uh, uh, Western harmony, tonic subdominant, dominant, etc. But I've just given you a basic, uh, very basic, simple uh, answer. <laughs> Phew, that was tough. So uh, anyway, back to the Aeolian mode. If you know the, uh, the pentatonic uh, scale, the blues pentatonic, then this, this will be interesting for you because it's um, the pentatonic scale with two extra notes. So in the blues pentatonic, you'd go uh, A, C, D, E, G, A. But in the Aeolian mode, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, so you can look at it as the blues pentatonic with two extra notes. I'm gonna take an A minor seven chord here and just start jamming and I'm going to react to uh, wherever my fingers go and what they do and I'm going to try and uh, convey the feel of this mode. So bluesy opening there, G, A, C, D, C, A, yeah. Okay, so that's straight from the pentatonic. But now I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to, I'm going to put the B in. G, A, B, C, D, C, B, A. So you can see it changes the flavour. It immediately becomes a little bit more jazzy. Blues. Jazz. Not quite, but you get the idea. I'm going to go up into the higher register, uh, register now. So you've got the F here. What's interesting about this is if you use that F as a passing note, I mean a, a note between E and G as like a stepping stone, you get a Spanish sound like this. But if you use the F more exclusively as a note itself, towards jazz territory or a jazz kind of feel okay so you've got Spanish or jazz it's not really jazz not quite but 
but it's on the way. You get the idea. I'm going to go down here now. So uh, B, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, A, G, F, E. So that G to A. That's a nice line, isn't it? Da, 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 da. A, G, F, E. Slide into the A. Chelsea. And you've got the whole tone at the top, the um, G to A. Da, 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 da. Dramatic. I'll change to D minor 7. So the takeaway here is um, it's an interesting mode which gives you blues if you uh, if you stay shy of the B and the F and just use them in passing. You can be definitely in a, a blues sphere. So I used to be in the F there, um, but just quickly in passing. So uh, that works. You can use it for a Spanishy sound by working the E F G, using the F as a passing note, and again A B C, and even the uh, the seventh uh, to the tonic D. Um, a, G to A Spanish Yeah, I mean that sounds like something doesn't it the Rodrigo guitar concerto It's not quite the right notes So uh, It's a flexible scale. It's um, a, fle a flexible mode. I need to call it a mode. I hope this uh, inspires you um, in a way, it's not the easiest mode that I presented to play around with. Um, I, th I think it requires a, a bit of thought because of the uh, two different directions or three different directions you can go in. Blues, sort of jazz, Spanishy. Yeah, but um, it's, uh, it's interesting nevertheless. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, keep improvising. Uh, try this out every day along with the other modes that I've uh, given you in the previous videos. And remember that whatever comes out, whatever happens, it's yours. Improvising is you creating a unique moment in time which is here and then it's gone. And I find that beautiful. Um, unless you're recording it like I am, of course. I find that truly beautiful. Am I the only one? Am I alone? Maybe. I don't think so. Keep practicing. I'll see you next time.